beneath its silent gray paint and cold metallic sheen, the A-10 Warthog conceals a secret few have ever witnessed completely. What looks like a rugged, almost primitive airframe is, inside, a carefully orchestrated network of engineering, layered, timed, and aligned with the precision of a war-forged timepiece. At the center of it all, the GAU-8 Avenger rotates like a sentient blade of metal, measuring destruction with every fraction of a second. Today, we step beyond the surface and enter a place where errors don't exist, where every bolt, circuit, and barrel is designed for one purpose, absolute, undeniable dominance. This is Wartech Insider. X-ray cutaway reveals the A-10's internal frame, showing how engineers literally shaped the entire forward fuselage around the massive GAU-8 cannon to absorb recoil and maintain perfect balance. Camera tracks the central firing barrel, demonstrating how only the perfectly centered tube is aligned with the aircraft's axis, ensuring recoil forces do not pull the A-10 off target during firing. Blueprint overlay reveals the GAU-8's slight port side mounting offset, a deliberate engineering choice that compensates for the cannon's enormous recoil and keeps the aircraft perfectly stable in attack dives. Time lapse reveals CNC machines carving each GA-8 barrel from a solid alloy block, cutting precise rifling grooves with micron-level accuracy required to stabilize 30 millimeter rounds at supersonic speed. Slow motion shot shows glowing barrels entering the heat treatment chamber, hardening the alloy to survive extreme temperatures generated by continuous bursts at nearly 4,000 rounds per minute. Laser scanners sweep through each finished barrel, inspecting rifling uniformity and bore straightness ensuring every tube meets strict tolerances for perfect ballistic stability under maximum firing stress. Exploded View Animation assembles all seven barrels around the central rotor housing, revealing the compact but incredibly strong structure that drives the GAU-8's firepower. Cutaway reveals the stationary cam path guiding each bolt through loading, chambering, firing, and extraction as the barrels rotate in one synchronized cycle. High-speed simulation shows the rotor accelerating to 3900 RPM, stabilizing instantly with almost zero vibration thanks to the gun's precise engineering tolerances. The camera dives through the giant donut-shaped ammo drum, revealing 1,174 rounds, arranged around a rotating spindle that feeds the GAU-8 with relentless precision. A linkless conveyor moves each cartridge along a curved track like a miniature train delivering ammunition smoothly into the cannon without the jams typical of belt-fed systems. Empty brass casings travel back through the return track, acting as ballast to keep the aircraft balanced and prevent debris from entering the engines during intense firing. Cutaway animation reveals the depleted uranium penetrator, showing its dense core and incendiary components designed to sharpen on impact and ignite inside armored vehicles. Initial impact, penetration dynamics, thermal bloom, energy dispersion. Simulation demonstrates the DU rod sharpening as it penetrates armor, breaking into burning fragments that ignite ammunition and fuel inside the target vehicle. A battlefield simulation shows GAU-8 rounds striking a tank, 
demonstrating DU penetration, internal ignition, and catastrophic damage exactly as engineers designed these rounds to perform. Physics overlays display the GAU-8 generating nearly 19,000 pounds of recoil force, pushing directly against the A-10's airframe every time the cannon fires a sustained burst. Sustained velocity, 1,021 meters per second. Comparative thrust visuals reveal that both TF-34 engines combined produce less force than the GAU-8's recoil, explaining why the aircraft physically slows down during heavy firing. A battlefield-style simulation shows the A-10 firing a burst, visibly slowing several knots as recoil pushes against the aircraft while maintaining remarkable stability and firing accuracy. A lineup of captured Soviet T-62 tanks is positioned across a controlled testing range, providing engineers with a realistic benchmark for evaluating the GAA-8's destructive performance. As the DU round strikes the T-62 armor, we see the catastrophic shearing and subsequent internal fragmentation. A technical visualization shows depleted uranium penetrators slicing through the T-62's side armor, demonstrating the self-sharpening effect and internal fragmentation that make these rounds so devastating. A restrained combat simulation highlights the final results. Six T-62 tanks disabled and three suffering catastrophic internal damage from concentrated GAA-8 test fire. A detailed cutaway reveals the titanium-armored bathtub surrounding the pilot, engineered to withstand direct 23mm hits and absorb fragments from far larger battlefield threats. Flight control diagrams show dual hydraulic systems paired with a mechanical cable backup, giving the A-10 the ability to remain flyable even after severe combat damage. During heavy incoming fire, the A-10 continues flying with steady control, its armored cockpit and redundant systems protecting the pilot and keeping the aircraft mission capable. The A-10's straight, unswept wings provide exceptional low-speed stability, allowing the aircraft to carry heavy ordnance while remaining perfectly controllable during close air support maneuvers. Split ailerons act as decelerons, opening above and below the wing to increase drag, enabling the A-10 to slow rapidly while maintaining precise control during attack runs. Honeycomb composite panels reduce weight without sacrificing rigidity, allowing the A-10's wings to endure extreme stresses during tight turns and low-altitude combat maneuvers. With large wings and exceptional fuel efficiency, the A-10 can remain circling above a battlefield for extended periods, providing constant support to ground units below. The aircraft maintains stable handling, even under extremely low cloud ceilings, allowing pilots to fly beneath weather layers where most fast jets would be forced to retreat. Dive angle overlays display how the A-10 descends steadily toward its target using controlled low-speed profiles that greatly improve accuracy during strafing runs. Each TF-34 engine features titanium fan blades that can be individually removed through small access hatches, making frontline maintenance faster and far more efficient. The first five compressor stages use variable stator vanes that automatically adjust their angle, stabilizing airflow and preventing engine stall during demanding low-speed maneuvers. The TF-34 can surge from idle to full power in roughly 10 seconds, a crucial capability when the A-10 must reposition quickly during close air support missions. Fuel transfer lines are designed to seal themselves instantly when punctured, 
keeping remaining fuel contained and preventing leaks that could threaten the aircraft during combat. Two independent sump tanks hold enough fuel for roughly 230 miles of emergency flight, giving the A-10 a critical buffer even if all main tanks are compromised. Fuel tanks positioned near the aircraft's center of gravity minimize balance changes, allowing the A-10 to stay stable even as large amounts of fuel are consumed. With 11 hardpoints, the A-10 can carry over 16,000 pounds of weapons, ranging from guided bombs to rockets and air-to-ground missiles for diverse mission profiles. Modern A-10C variants use the Lightning Targeting Pod, combining laser designation, infrared imaging, and precise rangefinder to greatly improve accuracy during both day and night operations. Different loadout combinations allow the A-10 to switch between anti-armor strikes, close urban support, and convoy interdiction, adapting seamlessly to rapidly changing battlefield demands. The startup begins with powering the battery and inverter, enabling the pilot to verify engine instruments, fire detection circuits, and essential onboard electronic systems. The auxiliary power unit provides the compressed air required to spin the engines, coming online only after fuel pressure indicators confirm a stable and ready feed. The left engine spools up first, followed by the right, with the pilot monitoring RPM and temperature to confirm both TF-34 units stabilize for taxi readiness. The A-10's nose gear is mounted slightly off-center to accommodate the massive GAU-8 cannon, creating an unusual but intentional asymmetry beneath the forward fuselage. Taxi turning path analysis of Note the reduced right turn radius because of its offset gear and steering geometry, the A-10 turns more sharply to the right than to the left, a quirk pilots must remember during ground operations. Pilots stay highly alert during taxi, ensuring tight right turns don't overshoot center lines and avoiding the embarrassing mistakes caused by misjudging the aircraft's asymmetrical layout. Before rolling forward, the pilot sets the flaps to 20 degrees, giving the A-10 the extra lift needed for short takeoff runs on damaged or improvised runways. As the aircraft accelerates, the pilot gently raises the nose about 10 degrees just before reaching takeoff speed, ensuring a smooth and controlled departure from the runway surface. Once airborne, the landing gear retracts and the aircraft maintains the same pitch until exceeding safe climb speed, stabilizing its ascent with remarkable precision. Cruising at around 300 knots, the A-10 deliberately trades speed for accuracy, getting pilots the time needed to identify and strike small, fast-moving ground darts. Large wings and low wing load let the A-10 pull up to 5.8 Gs, enabling tight turns that keep the aircraft locked onto ground targets during close engagements. Fuel-efficient engines allow nearly two hours of on-station time, letting the A-10 remain overhead long after other fast jets must withdraw for refueling. During approach, pilots set the flaps to 20 degrees and deploy the split ailerons to increase drag, giving the A-10 a controlled, low-speed glide toward the runway. The A-10's low-pressure tires and heavy-duty landing gear allow it to land safely on damaged runways, rough surfaces, or even straight stretches of highway. Even with the nose gear stuck, the A-10 can slide belly-first onto the runway its partially exposed main wheels absorbing enough friction to keep the aircraft intact. A heavy titanium enclosure surrounds the cockpit, shielding the pilot from 23mm rounds and shrapnel while maintaining enough internal space for efficient instrument layout. 
the A10C replaces analog dials with two-color multifunction displays, giving pilots moving maps, weapons pages, and real-time situational awareness far beyond the original A10A standard. The hot task setup integrates navigation, targeting, and weapon release into the pilot's hands, supported by Link 16, GPS INS, and modern multi-band communication suites. Born from the lessons of Vietnam and refined through decades of conflict, the A-10 stands as one of the most specialized combat aircraft ever engineered. Despite its unmatched effectiveness in close air support, the A-10 faces retirement as modern conflicts shift toward faster response platforms and advanced multi-role aircraft. Though its service years are ending, the unmistakable burr and the machine behind it remain etched into the memory of every soldier it once protected. This is Wartech Insider.